Can't find the comma on your iPhone's keyboard? Let me show you why. MacMOS is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to macmost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So if you can't find the comma on your iPhone's keyboard, you're not alone. If you look online, there are a lot of people that say they have this problem. There are also a lot of articles and even videos that try to explain why, but they don't seem to be helping people because there are actually several different reasons why people may not find the comma on the iPhone's keyboard. And usually the one that most people are experiencing is not the solution that's being presented. Let me show you all the different reasons why you may not see the comma and either how to find it or why you don't need it. So first, say you're typing in a normal app. Like here I am in the Notes app. And I've got my keyboard at the bottom and notice that there's no comma key that's visible. Now, in order to get to the comma, what you would normally do is tap the little 1, 2, 3 button here at the bottom left. When you do that, you get the Numbers and Symbols keyboard. And one of the keys here is the comma. So now you can type the comma pretty easily. Now, if this was your problem, you simply didn't know to press the 1, 2, 3 key here to reveal the comma, well, then now you know the solution. But chances are that's not why you're asking. You probably already knew how to type a comma like this when typing normal text. Now do note that what I'm using here is the US English keyboard. So one possible problem is that maybe you're not using the US English keyboard. Now no matter which keyboard you're using, there should be a comma available to you as long as that's a regular character used in that language. But note there are several settings that change which keyboard is here. You've got this little globe key at the bottom left and if you tap it, it will switch keyboards or if you tap and hold, it will show you the keyboards you've got. In this case, I've got English, the emoji keyboard, and the French keyboard that I've enabled. And you can easily switch between these. So it could be that you've switched to a keyboard that doesn't have the comma key or it's not in the location where you expect. If you go to Keyboard Settings, it actually jumps to the Settings app and right to the keyboard section. And here you can see the keyboards I have installed. So you can see maybe you've got a different keyboard installed. Maybe you're using the wrong one in this situation. And you can figure out why the comma is missing based on that. Note that not only do you have keyboard settings here, but if you go up to the main level and down into general, you also have an area here for language and region. So depending on your settings here, you may also see different things on the keyboard. Now if that doesn't help you find the comma on your keyboard, well I'm not too surprised because that's probably not the reason why you can't find it either. It's definitely something you should keep in mind, but chances are the problem you're experiencing is this. You're in either the Mail app, the Messages app, or something similar where you're sending a message to someone. Let's go into the Mail app here and say I'm composing a new message. Now the important thing to realize about the keyboard is the keyboard is dynamic. It changes depending on the situation. So you're going to see different keyboards, maybe just slightly different keyboards depending upon the app you're using and where you're typing. For instance, here in the Mail app, I'm going to see a different keyboard if I'm in the To field adding addresses here or if I'm in the Body field here where I'm typing. Using the Body field, I get a keyboard that looks just like the one in Notes. I get all the regular letters here and if I tap 1, 2, 3, I can see the comma. But if I'm typing in the To field here, then note that the keyboard changes a bit. For instance, notice I have an Add symbol here that's not usually there in the standard keyboard. You have to tap the 1, 2, 3 to see the Add symbol. But it's here when you're typing email addresses because of course every email address has to have that Add symbol in it. So it makes sense to put it in a location where you can get to it easily. But if I tap 1, 2, 3, I can see the numbers here at the top, but the symbols I see are different and it's missing the comma. So there's no way to type a comma here if you're typing an email address up here in the To field. This makes sense because a comma is not an accepted character in an email address. This isn't a restriction of the Mail app. This isn't a restriction of your iPhone. This is a restriction of the Internet. Email addresses cannot have certain characters. One of the characters they can't have is a comma. There's no such thing as a comma in an email address. So when you type an email address, you don't need a comma. So you can type one out like this 
and you'll never need to type a comma in an email address. But wait, I know why it is that you want to use a comma. It's because you want to have more than one email address here. And typically on a computer, using a regular physical keyboard, you would type one email address, press comma, and then type another email address. And you can't do that here because there's no comma. But you don't need a comma because you don't need to separate email addresses with commas here. Instead, you could just use the return button here. If you tap return, you may think it would enter the email address and maybe go to the next field, but it doesn't. Return will finish off that email address and then you can see I'm still typing and I can type another email address now. So you can enter one email address, return, another email address, return, and so on until you have all the email addresses that you want in the to field. You can also, of course, use the plus button here and add email addresses this way. So I could add this one here, for example, and you could see it adds it without needing to type return or comma or anything. So when typing in a to field, you can't type a comma and you don't need to type a comma because return will separate email addresses. The same thing in messages. If you start a new message conversation there and you type something here, I'll just use somebody's name and then use that, you can see I could just go and immediately start typing somebody else's name. If I'm actually typing something like a phone number like that, I don't need a comma there either. A return will finish off that phone number and I can start entering in the next phone number. So just like mail, you don't need a comma to separate these and you can't use a comma in either an email address or a phone number anyway. So there's no need to have it present in the keyboard. So there are the three reasons why you can't find the comma key on the iPhone keyboard. Either you forgot you need to press the one, two, three button to get to the numbers and symbols part of the keyboard, or perhaps you're using a specialty keyboard, maybe a third party keyboard, or just a different language keyboard where the comma is in a different location or maybe not part of that particular language. Or you're simply typing in a space like the to field in the mail app or the messages app where the comma isn't even allowed or needed. I hope we found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.